Hey Vinyl Community, Jeff here again for another installment of the first one, the one you never forget. Again, uh, briefly, if you haven't seen the previous ones I've done, this was started uh, by Vance over at Zep Pearl, and it's uh, been borrowed for my use. And it basically is looking at a band and looking at how, in many cases, the first one you discover by a band tends to stick as being one of your favorites and that you never forget it just is nostalgically embedded into your soul so anyway we're looking at different artists and today we're looking at billy joel yeah we're leaving the metal realm which the past few have done which is my main staple i guess but you know i have a lot of tastes and so this goes back harkening back to my childhood and even though back in the day i was listening to a lot of you know harder bands during the 70s, when it, when Kiss was first discovered, there were still other bands that I was listening to, Billy Joel being one of them. Now, I don't recall, it's kind of a blur. I remember two specific albums when it comes to Billy Joel. One is my absolute ingrained in me, every word, every note is ingrained in me. And one of them I recall heavily listening to all the time. I know exactly where I got the album. But I don't know which came first. That's my problem. So I'm going to share my story on both of them. So let's get into this. Um, oh, and also, uh, I did recently, driving down the street, went by garage sale. I saw, hey, there's two shelves over there. Now, from a distance, they look like bookshelves. But about a couple hours later, we're like, hey, let's go by there. We were walking the dog, so they were setting up. A couple hours later, we were out and about. And she said, let's drive by the garage sale. Okay, fine. So we went by there, the two shelves were still there. I got up and got close to them, turns out they're CD shelves. I'm like, you know, I've been talking about buying CD shelves to get my CDs out of storage, which I did, pulled them out. Now it's only two shelves, holds about a thousand CDs. So I'm only up to the S's, but everything outside of the A through S are now in my adjoining room right there. So I'm gonna pull in some CDs for this one too. And I may start my CD uh, collection series back up that I haven't done in, three years so billy joel cold spring harbor first album by billy joel early 70s uh i don't think i was very familiar with this album back in the day at all it's got the uh, only a woman um what's the song on here is that the one uh yeah i think um she's got a way about her yeah she's got a way that was the hit from this album um, I did have two copies of this album because the original release was pitched off. They made the wrong pitch and it made Billy sound really high. Later in the 80s, it was reissued. I've had both copies, but I recently was able to got rid of a bunch of older albums. And I went ahead and, and let that one go. And I kept the one that has been pitch corrected. Um, great album, early stuff there. And I do have that on CD also. This, I think, yeah, it's one of the older original I gotta go back and listen to this. I'm sure by the time the CDs came out, they had a pitch corrected one because this would have definitely been in the 80s. So, but honestly, I don't recall. I'm sure it is. It has to be. But that's an older original press. All right, this one I actually had two copies of too. Um, I'm assuming I let go of the other one, but this is the 50th Walmart exclusive of Piano Man. Again, big hits here. This one I think is really where he really, you know, made a big mark on the world i think he started becoming a little more renowned there but again back in the day not one that i was these are the reissues that came out mm, 15 20 years ago i don't know somewhere in the 2000s i believe all of his albums were reissued so you'll see that nice price reissues remastered original artwork etc etc so when these came out i scooped them all up at that time because i did not have them on cd Street Life Serenade, um, yes, another great album. Again, not one that I had back in the day, had no knowledge of at all. I think I did see this in record stores at the time when I did get into him at a later date, but I don't think I ever listened to it until probably in the past 20 years, mainly, again, because when the when the CDs came back out, I bought them all, and I started listening to them, and I really, there's some really enjoyable songs on there. So... Turnstiles, I remember seeing this one all the time in the record stores back as a kid. Thought it was an interesting cover, but honestly, never really listened to it. So again, one of those albums that uh, didn't you know, say goodbye to Hollywood, one of the big hits. Uh, New York State of Mind. Uh, got some great songs on here also. But again, not one that I had back in the day, but when the issues reissues came out, Boom, picked them up. 
Now, this is where the story starts. The Stranger. This is one of the two that I can't remember which came first. The Stranger I found on the curb. We were driving around. My best friend at the time, his father, they would always do, we'd always do the garage sales. And we're out driving around on a Saturday morning hitting some garage sales. And we see a bunch of junk on these people's curb. Just trash to be picked up. We found a guitar that looked just like the kind that, Ace, that Angus Young played from ACDC. We grabbed that. It was kind of broken. No strings or anything. Grabbed that. Came home. Put a fake neck on it and used it as an air guitar to the, in the air guitar band back in the day. And we found some albums. One of which was this, which I scooped right up. And it became an instant classic. Now, of course, this is really where the just floodgates opened up. Because he had, you know, moving out. And just the way you are, and only the good die young. She's always a woman. Uh, just this entire album became ingrained in me. Now, did it come before or after my first quote favorite? I'm not sure, but it is one of my favorites, and it's the one that has all the hits that people get. And of course, there is a CD edition of that. So. Uh, 52nd Street, again, one of the Walmart reissues from a couple years ago. Um, another one that really took off for him, um, you know, Big Shot. It's just, uh, well, I don't know. For me, it's like this whole album is great. But, you know, it's got a lot of great hits on there, too. But again, and I probably had this back in the day, but The Stranger stands out more because of how I found it. That is a favorite. I do have the CD of that. But this... Glass Houses. I think either I already had Stranger, loved him, and then this. I remember my mother bought me this for Christmas. She probably, I, I'm pretty sure it's the same Christmas that I also got the three Kiss original albums, uh, which I believe my mother also bought. So they bought me a bunch of records. This is the album that is ingrained in me, all the words, all the notes, everything about it. And the thing is, I married a woman who is just as ecstatic about this album as me. So we listen to this album together often, and she can sing along and knows all the parts, and I know all the parts. And this album, to me, is the one I'll never forget. It's absolutely just, everything about it is near perfection. I just don't uh, have any... It's just so nostalgic to me. So, absolutely great stuff. And yes, of course, we have the CD remaster of that too. So, now, after that, I kind of was moving a little more out and getting a little more into the harder. But but everybody took notice of the Nylon Curtain. You had the videos. You know, you had the stuff online for this. Uh, D, 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 pressure was on. Is it, uh, you know, I'm having a hard time even. There was some Allentown songs like that. You know, so this was a great album too, but I can't say I spent as much time with it as some of the previous albums because, again, my musical tastes were starting to kind of merge off and, and some of the lighter music wasn't getting as much of the time of day at that point. Innocent Man, I absolutely love so many of the songs from this album. And again, big time MTV stuff was popping up here, so you couldn't get away from it. Absolutely phenomenal album from start to finish. Love it, love it. Of course, got the CD of that one too. And then I kind of lost touch after that. I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to ones like The Bridge. Um, and honestly, I probably not even spent much time listening to it. This is one of the uh, original pressings of it. I didn't get the reissue of that. Uh, a Matter of Trust we heard on the radio. Uh, things like that. So probably could spend more time with that because I'm sure it's got some phenomenal hits on there just as well. Also have the CD release of that. That's where the CD's in, and then I did pick up Stormfront from Walmart when they reissued this. And honestly, don't know how many times I've really even listened to this. I, 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 I know I got it. I don't think I've listened to it that much. I'm sure it's great. I just need to spin it some more, which maybe I'll do when I'm done with this video. So that's some great stuff there. Um, I think there's, isn't there like one or so more after that that... I'm not sure if they came out on vinyl or not, but uh, that I have not picked up that are in that same time frame era uh, that I do not have any CD or vinyl of. So, but that's it. That's the first, the one I'll never forget. I'm going to say Glass Houses is probably the pivotal moment for me. Stranger is in there somewhere in the mix. 52nd Street. That's the trilogy, the trifecta 
of amazement that Billy Joe did back in those days. So anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you later. Rock on and rock hard.